All right, so let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about that video. All the audio was processed and it was not raw. So we're gonna go over the raw audio later. First, I just wanna go over the basics of this mic and my final conclusion. I'm actually talking into it right now, as you can see over here. So I first wanna say that these mics were sent to me from Latin Audio. I pay for these mics with my own money and um, this review would be unbiased, all right? So these mics cost $500 right now on Sweetwater or anywhere you buy them anywhere for the pair and that includes the omni capsules and the cardio capsules and i want to say that they're well worth the value they have a lot of options on them they sound pretty good really pristine and clear if that's what you want and they're really transparent with a high dynamic range and incredible detail and transient detail that's the first thing i noticed that these have really sharp and just fast transient detail when i was recording acoustic guitar that's the first thing i noticed i was like whoa like i could just hear the picks crystal clear one by one sometimes you want that sometimes you don't these are pencil condensers um, i use them on the overheads and on the piano and for the claps in that video and i want to say that i'm still a big fan of large diaphragm condensers for overheads they pick up more of the room and they have a more um to me a more balanced sound it's not as uh pokey and and transients but these definitely will work and they will work great for any uh for any situation the reason why i could see you buying these is if you're in a tight space you don't have a great room sound so you want to focus on your overheads or you want to focus on the instrument that you want to capture with these mics because they're really focused and i can pick up all the room unless you have the omni capsule on them i recorded everything with the cardioid capsule uh, i did record with the omni capsule but i definitely do not prefer that over the cardioid even though it had more of a room tone, but uh, to me, it wasn't as nice as the cardioid. The cardioid had way more detail and it just sounded more pleasant and sparkly to me. I wanna say that I recorded everything with the modes uh, flat, the no high pass, no low pass. And um, from the get go, this mic is, I wanna say it's a little bright. It will be nice if they give us the frequency response graph with this mics, but they didn't. Yeah, it's a little bright, but it's nice that they give you so many options, so many low pass and high cap, high pass filters, because you know, like in the olden days, Michael Jackson and how they recorded everything, they recorded everything. They wanted it to sound great. Like the, it, they want the instruments to sound great before they even recorded it. So they mic'd it in a certain way that it would sound great right when they went to the tape. So barely any EQ, barely any of this and that was done to it. And that's a great uh, mindset to have when you're recording music is that you want it to sound great before you even record. So that option is definitely helpful. So yeah, my overall opinion about these mics, uh, I do love them. I'm gonna be using them as overheads here because my room's not that nice sounding. The room that I did record this in was great. I love the sound of those. We've got some overhead diffusers on the, in that room. So it's really open and it sounds really pleasant and airy. Yeah, and if you guys like the studio I recorded in, that's a studio I'm currently building right now at my church and um, it's gonna be, a amazing studio so far it sounds great i love the acoustics of both rooms and i'm gonna be showing some more videos about that later and i just want to say shout out to hnz for helping me it's my cousin and uh, we make a lot of music together so he helped me record the acoustic guitars on that and now we'll go over the unboxing all right i just wanted to do a quick unboxing 
to show you guys what's inside the box. I want to say the box is pretty sturdy. It's really nice. It would be better if it was a travel case, of course, but can't hide everything, right? So we got some paperwork, but the main thing out of all this paperwork that I really like is this sheet right here. It tells you the different applications. We got like for overheads, punchy overheads. We got piano, upright bass, acoustic guitar. This is a good starting point when you're recording and it would definitely speed up your workflow later on in post it talks about the capsules the sound shaping dynamic range and all that so let's open up the box inside we're gonna have the two mics one mic's missing because i'm currently talking into it right now it's gonna come with the two mics the windscreens the two extra capsules let's take a look at the mic it's really nicely built it doesn't feel cheap at all it's made out of metal then we also have the capsules that are pretty interesting we got the omni one right here and then the cardioid which i'm talking to right now 